Well, the great thing about the team, actually, who are... I think we're all here. Um, not the whole lot of everybody. I mean, just there's a few. Um, they are they are up up for the challenge. And um, the one thing about Channel Five, it's always has been, um, is 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 a sort of fun place. And I, I think we've always tried to have it be, be fun. And our programmes have always tried to have fun at, 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 the, at their heart. Okay, it doesn't you know we just still do very serious documentaries as well. But you know there is an approach. Channel Five has an approach. And the, the, that, that actually absolutely filters into the team of, of people. Mm. And, and I'm very lucky to have a great, great bunch of uh, uh, people who work with me. And, uh, and we sort of, we got, we got through the change and the change was always difficult, whoever was going to be Did there. Did you worry people were going to go? Did you worry people would say, stuff this? Well, you, well yeah, and of course you do, you, you do. But we're actually, you know, in the programming department, I think we've lost in the last year three or four people, and I think that is, is amazing. You know, since, since the, the redundancies, we've only lost about three people. And, and so I think that's a, a great achievement that the people have sort of decided they want to stay, have gone through that change, and we're coming out the other side, and we are beginning to make a difference in terms of what Channel 5 stands for, I hope. Well, uh, we're going to have a little look at your year, your, your wonderful year on Channel 5 in a moment, but what do you think, just to give us one line that we can maybe think about when we look at that, has been your focus? We, we've heard a lot about you rebranding it. Yes. It's now Channel 5, not 5. You know, even something as sort of superficially simple on the surface, it seems simple as, a name, as that sort of change. What's been the focus of it for you? Yeah, you? I, th I think it was, it's quite easy, actually, and, and almost the Channel 5 part sort of is quite significant because it actually sort of, mm. although that's something we did, it was, it's part of trying to go back to be, have strong foundations. The one thing we've, Channel 5, over the past six years, we've had about six directors of programmes. Mm. And if you have that amount of change in terms of leadership and direction, how are you ever going to get it right? How are so you I ever going to So I guess having you that's seen that, you know, counted them in and counted them out was quite useful, having you there as continuity. Well, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, I did go away for four and a half, mm. four and a half years to Channel 4. Um, I mean, I'd started Channel 5 in 1997, so, and then I left in 2005 and then came back in 2009. So, you know, I really, I love Channel 5. I mean, you know, I really, really do love Channel 5. Mm. I think it's a fantastic place. Um, but what we had to do over this past year was, was actually go back to what Channel 5 was known for, actually and build the foundations of, it, of the channel, go back to what we were known for and, and, and liked for. And I think mm. people f forgot, it, got bit, it all got too messy. You couldn't see through all the changes that were going on. Mm. So what this year has been is about getting those foundations right and actually building from, from those foundations up. And so, you know, hopefully in a year's time, you know, with Big Brother and everything else that's going on, you know, there will be, a, a, the, the channel have taken another journey, another step forward. And I think, although it is, it's, yeah, we haven't been the biggest risk takers this year, and I, I admit that, I think you have to get the bloody channel in the right place mm. before you start taking risks. Otherwise, you just, far, again, you've gone somewhere else before you've, you've a, a addressed the real problem. I mean, I've interestingly, been a few there was here, a hasn't lot it? of yeah, there was a lot of uh, you know lack of identity. Don't really yeah. know. Check it out when nothing else is on, um, which you've already hinted at. Really, mm. I mean, that's got to be the challenge for you, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Mm. How are you going to how are you going to do that? Is it all about Big Brother? It is all about Big Brother at the moment, and I think that's why having Big Brother will just give us, as I say, that whole platform to be able to promote the stuff that we know other people like, but just don't know they like it on mm. Channel 5. That, that, that's our, that's our, our issue. I think the whole thing about what I'm trying to do with the channel is say, strip it down to its, to its foundations. And the, the one thing we like about the channel is it is, it, it, is a, it is a fun channel and it is quite reflective of a, a, a type, of Britain as it is, not Britain in a big way, but mm. a, sort of, a sort of blue collar approach to, 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 to Britain. Uh, that's not supposed to say it's, it's, it's down market, mm. but you've got programmes like, you know, you know, reflecting on Stobart's or Pickford's or if it's Robson Green's fishing. Everybody, you know, there's, I don't know how many people fish, but there's a passion about all the shows that we try and do that about, like Stobart's, you know, everybody knows Stobart's. The Stobart drivers are so passionate about what they do. I'm going to try, try and do my gag if I can remember it. Um, is, you know, and, you know, if, you, if they wave, you know, sorry, if you raise a member of public, Stobart's drivers have to wave back, mm. which we're going to take up on Channel 5, and so we're going to have everybody waving like that as well. <laughs> um, but no, so, so there is this passion, I think, about, uh, the, the, about what we're trying to do, the, of the stories that we're telling. We're telling a lot of stories about the, the Army or the Navy. I think, you know, five, six years ago, people didn't want to know 
about those about the, you know, the, the armed forces. And I think now we, we, you know, we're, we're proud of those, those, those guys and girls who do that. And it is, again, it's that passion. And I think the passion that they have, and I want to re reflect passion in our mm. shows. And OK, they may not be the biggest shows in the world, but you know, we haven't got the budgets to do that. We have got the budget to do Big Brother. And that's the one thing Richard Desmond has always said, that if, you've, if, if, if there is anything you want, Jeffrey, he said, come and see me. And if it's an idea I like, We'll invest in it. So the pro when people talk about program budget, we have a, a good program budget, and it's higher than it's been for a long time, in fact. But the great thing about Richard is that he will enhance it. He'll put more money in <laughs> if he feels the idea is, is correct. And that's what's happened with Big Brother. Whose idea was it to get Big Brother? Um, well, I think we, always, we as a, a channel, always knew we needed something that would catapult us forward. Mm. And I think when Richard also took over the... the um, the channel on the 24th of July, 5.30 to p.m. Are these numbers tattooed on you? Is that, is that what it is? Not or is really, it just burnt no. No, physically I, no, into your I just your make them up. It's far easier. Um, he, he said he wanted, and I, I may ask, you have to help me out again. He said he wanted Big Brother, Top of the Pops, Coronation Street, Panorama. I think that was it. Was it Corn? Did I say Corn Street? Corn Street? Anyway, mm. and, and now, obviously, that's what he wanted, and he could see that you know, you needed a big brand. That's what he was talking about. Mm. You needed a brand to be able to sort of get people in immediately. And that's the thing with Big Brother. It is, and it has, and it is working. And the reason it's working is actually, it's not the format that it was on Channel 4. It's a different format. It's the same format, but it's done in a totally different way. We actually, you know, I think if, if, if Louis Walsh were here, he'd say, you nailed it, you know, because we think we have. It's mm. now a fun entertainment piece. And, you know, that's why it's a huge stage. That's why it's just, it's bigger than it's ever been. The house is bigger than it's ever been. There's more cameras, I think, than there's ever been. Mm. The pool's bigger as well, if, you, mm. you know, if you're interested. Mm. Um, so I think it is, it, is, it's, it is all about fun and entertainment, which goes absolutely with the Channel 5 values. And the figures are good. Launch night figures is are great. Figures are really good, yep. Dropped, though, over the coming days. Yes. And then again over another day. Good 2.8 last night. Yeah, is... but, I mean, we've been, we've been around about two and a half million mm. for the last uh, few days. I mean, you know, if you look at, if you look at the ratings of Big Brother on a, 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 the last channel uh, mm. that had it, um, <laughs> it was... It did the exactly, Scottish channel, let's just call the, it the that. The Scottish yeah, channel, no whistling, yeah, please. No, yeah, yeah. It, it's actually, we're doing as well, if not slightly better. And also the thing about the numbers is we've launched in summer and it's very hard to look at you know, if you look at last year's celebrity was in January. Mm. There's far more viewers in January watching TV. So in terms of share, share, same, it's roughly about the same. Do you think, this is a tweeted question, do you think the, the ratings will hold uh, when you swap non-celebs for celebs? When it, uh, isn't it, celebrity uh, history has told us uh, it goes down slightly. So who am I to argue with history? It will go down, I know that because it always has done, because that's the way it works. Mm, mm. So, but we are going to make sure that the characters who go in there will be as interesting as possible. Because you've given a lot to this. You say this is, this is going to change things for the channel. Um, you've given a lot of airtime to it as well. What the heck would you have done if you hadn't got it? Did you have a plan B? Oh, that's a good question, isn't it? Um, we, I think the thing is we've been talking about Big Brother um, for a year. Mm. And the, we... The programme, I think the, think the deal got done in sort of April, May, April, maybe, maybe, uh, April time. So I think we were always thinking we were going to get it. It has been up and there was, you know... But it's the, been the up and down, and it? It has and been up and, and down. And I mean, uh, there's some of the stories of the getting of it are legendary. Can I ask, I mean, is the story about Richard Desmond breaking the glass and saying to Tim Hinks, don't mess with me, all words to that effect? Is all that true? All negotiations are confidential. <laughs> But you had a smashing time, didn't you? I'm not commenting yeah, on yeah, that yeah. remark. <laughs> no, it's, it, it's, it, was a, it was a really, really interesting negotiation. It was a very long <laughs> negotiation. No, I, no in, just in terms of how yeah. it went. And, uh, yeah, in the end, Tim and I managed to do a deal, which was fantastic. And, yeah, we, if we, there, but because it was always there, we always thought we were going to do it. Mm, mm. So... I suppose because we were still running with plan A mm. and we got there, you know, there was only a plan A up because we were getting there all the time. So it's all about Big Brother. It's all about Big Brother doing well. Already, though, there's been uh, criticism of the calibre of people in the house. 
Um, do you have a problem with getting good talent in terms of celebrities? Not in this, but we had a situation where Denise Van Outen left OK TV. Mm -hmm. Out of hours, I think, or certainly days before it was going to go on air. Ricky Gervais, as you already mentioned, said in the session yesterday, Channel 5 was the only channel he wouldn't work for. Yeah, yeah but Ricky is he's, he's being very clever because he's actually going to be in Celebrity Big Brother and he wanted to put a smoke screen. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I think that's, he's a very clever man. He's very is it clever tough? Man. Is it tough to get people <clears throat> to your channel? Do you, uh, do you need <clears throat> them? Maybe you don't care. Maybe you don't need oh, them. Oh, no, you, you do care. You do care. I mean, you know, we, we do have people like... Um, sorry, to answer your question, first of all. Yes. Um, uh, no, it was, I, I think it's probably the best, <clears throat> best cast ever. I think Endemol think it's the best cast ever. You never know who's going to come out of it at the end and be the big star. You know, Bobby, mm. which no, nobody knew who Bobby was particularly. Mm. Then they still didn't know who he was after three days because mm. he just didn't sort of get in there. And then he went do Lally. And then he started talking to himself and then talking to the camera and then being, you know, you know uh, mm. being bitchy. And he became, you know... You know, he all of a sudden got it and understood it and wanted to stay. Mm -hmm. So you can never you can never do that. But but in terms of the the caliber of people, no, not not a, not a problem at all. And I think in terms of the, the programs we have, if we have those you know we have those celebrity driven documentaries, and we have the, the we have some really big people in there. And I don't think it's ever been a problem about getting getting people at all. I mean. Was they, Charlie they, Sheen ever going to be on Big Brother? The great he, thing about Charlie Sheen, and this was a really funny, very good bit of, really fantastic. On the day of, <clears throat> on the day of this launch of Celebrity Big Brother, he arrived at Heathrow Airport, which was the most... Was that which, planning or fluke? I think it was fluke, which was, I mean, I just thought, how could, oh, that is brilliant. I could never have planned that. And he turned up and he said, oh, he's in, oh, he's, in. he's in. I thought, I went, no, oh, I can't say, possibly can't say. <laughs> um, he might be. But, it, but there was, you know, there were so many people being, you know, will they, won't they, who's going to be on there. The thing about Celebrity Big Brother, it still hasn't finished. There are still more celebrities to go in. In fact, right at this particular time, uh, Marco Pierre White is actually in there with the celebrities. So there's going to be more celebrities. There's going to be more surprises. So it's not just the celebrities who have gone in, you know, the week last Thursday. There's some more to come. You decided not to stream it overnight, yep. and I suppose one of the, the risks people say not doing that is that in terms of, of <clears> ratings, <throat> which is obviously, you know, Big Brother's success is criti critical to you, say, in terms of that hardcore drawing people in and sucking them in, um, Channel 4 said that was very useful, streaming it. Mm. So, so why didn't you do that? Did, did money? No, no, no. Was right? <clears throat> it wasn't anything to do with... No, it was... It was I mean, we, we, we could have done it if we wanted to, um, but we felt we wanted to, well, two things. I mean, Channel 4 did do live streaming um, and then it got less and less and less. Then it became a sort of subscription. Then they put it in a couple of hours a night, I think, on E4. So it wasn't like mm. at the forefront of what they wanted to do. It had been when everybody wanted to watch people asleep. I remember the first few years of that. It was the, one of, you know, it was the most interesting thing happening. You had mm. to watch Big Brother. Mm. There it was, the light, the everybody, everybody asleep. Mm. And, uh, and then, you know, it, that, we've all moved on. So what we wanted to do is, you know, we have, a, we, we have now, a, you know, a Twitter feed coming out of the house and there's, it's updated every 15 minutes. We're doing different things with Facebook, different ways of voting. Mm. So, we, you know, we put our money in a, in, and put things into different formats. And, and the thing about money, I think if you see that house, everybody was, before we went in the house, everybody was saying, oh, you know, it's not going to be as big, it's not, you know, the money's not going to be there. Sounds like my daughter talking, actually, come to think about it there. Um, mm. But it is. It is there. Every penny is on that screen and it does look fantastic. Still, you see, all about Big Brother. I mean, it's interesting, before we go in and take and find out what, what else you're looking for and the things that you, you want to get on the channel as well. I mean, what Lorraine Hegarty said in our, in our previous VT, that, mm. that it's a brand from another channel, is there a bit of you that thinks, oh, you know, we're trying to define ourselves, we're trying to give people a sense of who we are through a borrowed, a stolen, a bought, at vast expense, show from another channel? I think, we, I think I probably answered that earlier. I think that, yes, OK, you could say that, um, but it is, we have given it our own unique twist. Programmes have swapped over from channels mm. in the past, you know, and, and it, it happens. I think when you're offered the, the chance to pick up one of the biggest brands in the world, you've got to seriously consider it. And there aren't that many, you know, X Factor, talent, strictly, I mean, you know, and Big Brother are probably the biggest formats in the world. So mm. when you get an opportunity to do that, I think you'd be a bloody fool to turn it down. Mm. 
So do you have plans, this is reflected in the tweets coming in as well, do you have plans for, first of all, big entertainment shows? Because I remember Richard at the beginning of the year saying that it was all <coughs> about fun, it was all mm. about people wanting to come to exciting, entertaining television. So do you have plans for more big entertainment shows or is Big Brother it for you? No, I think, we, uh, I think the whole thing, it, it, it will give us the ability to go into areas that we have done in the past mm. or haven't done in the past. I mean, mm. we are, you know, with Big, Big Brother, it gives you the ability to, say, connect with this different audience. So, you know, we did do panel shows in the past. I've, if anybody remembers Sick as a Parrot with Stuart Hall at eight o'clock on a Friday, um, which, yeah, that's mm. about it. Nobody remembers Sick as a Parrot with Stuart Hall. Um, but we used to do things like that. We can, and it, again, I think it's all about the talent you get attached. Um, and, you know, success breeds success. And, you know, Channel 5 has always been... The, the, the network that everybody wanted to give a good old kicking to because it was easy game. And I think it's, it's about trying to change that perception. And the comments that on the... But is it, is it about trying to change that perception or is it about just doing it? Do you know what I mean? Well, I, no, I think we are... So no, you think, think you are doing it? I think we are doing it. I think we're doing... I think we are... There, there, there is a... There is a there, we are more cohesive than we were. As mm. I say, I think the people do... Do not believe what we... If you, if, I remember where we, we sometimes watch shows and you, th you think, if you put those all together on a mm. showreel, mm. you think, actually, some of those could be quite easy on Channel 4, BBC One, ITV. They're that, they're that big and the ideas are that big. It's just we don't get, we don't get the chance because people always want to just put us down. You know, Ricky Gervais didn't... You know, I'm not, you know, I, don't, I don't know Ricky Gervais and I do watch his shows. But Are you going to employ him now? Uh, no, well, bitter, obviously I'd love bitter, to, but I yeah. think the thing is, if, 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 if he, wouldn't, he doesn't want to give us a chance, well, why? Why don't, you want, why don't you want to give us a chance? Is that because all the things that have been talked about Channel 5 in the past, you know, you've got to give people a chance. We are trying to improve our channel and get to a better place. Mm. And I think that we've, we've, we've been unfairly treated for quite a long time. Sarah Edwards as well in a previous, uh, in a pre a previous PT as well said that it isn't the first go-to place, Channel 5, yep. for production companies, for the big ideas. How can you change that? I think it's back to this, well, A, we're always open. Mm. I think we have a very small uh, Have you got the money to pay for it? Could you afford an X Factor? Could you afford a Strictly? Could you afford a big expensive show? Um, yeah, I think it's going back to again. We we could Richard would do anything he feels mm. that will build build the channel, and he's very happy to support that. But it doesn't always have to be an X factor. It doesn't have to be, you know, Gypsy Weddings isn't an X factor yet. It brought in X factor ratings, so you have to just find the idea that's right and then bring it along. So it doesn't have to be. You don't have to spend a million pounds an hour mm. to get a, a, get a big hit. I think you have to be you have to choose the right idea. Mm. Um, okay, we're not the first port of call, is because, you know, do we pay the hugest, hugest amount of money? To, probably not, mm. but we will for the right idea. So you know, mm. our, our, our tariffs can be quite small and they can be quite big, but you have to have the right idea and you have to have the belief in that idea, and then we'll do it. We have some really interesting stuff coming up in the new year, which, you know, which I'm so excited about because we are now beginning to commission more than three months ahead. Again, we've had a terrible time over the last few years with all the different commissioners, controllers leaving. It was very hard to commission them far in advance. Now we are no, beginning to do that. So what are you looking for? Could it be drama? Could it be, this is some of the question coming in, How yeah. do you, would you do original drama? Do you want original programming, especially as you come from acquisitions? You know, do, is your heart in it? Because generally for Channel 5, the money going into you know, original yeah. programming has, has gone down significantly so are yeah. you, is your heart in putting the money back into it uh, I've been told that I actually spend too much time in the in do, looking at commissions than I do at acquisitions and I should go back and just start the acquisitions again uh, I, I, it's when it's like anything you've I, I've totally sort of acquisitions I know and that's fine I've got people dealing with that mm. and commissions I'm all over them because I want to be because they are so important they do reflect the channel far more obviously mm. we're known for our acquisitions and that's and that's great but that's that part but we've got to build up the, the, the these um Mm. These, these commissions. So, no, I, I, I'm absolutely all across it. I actually can't remember the first part of your question was now. So, what do you, yeah, basically, what are you looking for? That's what I'm Okay, I think the big thing People is like, you know, know, we're looking for returnable formats. You know, we have some very good formats in terms of, you know, the cowboy builders of this world, the, the hotel inspectors, but we're looking for more. We actually are all investing in, a, in, in two or three of those for the end of the year. So, that, so that's what we want. We want factual that is, 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 is sort of, is, a bit more interesting than the, probably the fact that we do now. We've been, 
we've probably over relied on docusoap. Not a bad thing, but we've probably over relied on that. But we're looking Does for. Does that mean you don't want more? You don't want them to come. No, to no, no. no. Uh, docu soaps are great because they are a great reflection of who we are and what we do, and you know, just ordinary people. Mm. Um, but we're, I think we, we've probably spent a little bit too much in that area. But I think what we're trying to do with some of the factual we've got going forward is it's not just straightforward factual. Okay, we do do history, and we do do history very well. That's fine. But we also want to try and put, you know, putting genres together. And we've got a, a you know, so we're looking at wildlife. You know, wildlife and engineering we're putting together and to sort of see, so, so shows are, so they're a mixture of something. So they're far more interesting and you go, crack, I didn't know that. And we, we, so that's a very big area for us. I think the whole thing about, you know, just returning to Big Brother again, is Big Brother gives us an opportunity to connect with younger audiences. So we want shows that we can go into Big Brother and come out of Big Brother. Like what? Give us an example. Well, you know, uh, it, it, it's something that's culturally relevant to a 1634, and that can be an observational doc, or it can be a comedy, mm -hmm. or, or it can mm -hmm. be a, pa a panel show. Comedy probably is a bit further away. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And then we are looking for, like everybody, you know, event, but it's maybe not event as in the X Factor event, but it could be the event and in terms of something factual that we can get behind and push very big. The other thing, of course, we've got to be very, very aware of is that, yes, you how it, we do have Big Brother, but then there are also... Um, 28 weeks where we don't. Um, so you've got to build something for the audiences who come for Big Brother uh, so that at least they can expect something that is similar or that, that will attract them. So there's still there's, there's quite a lot of slots to fill. Uh, I, I, there's not much time left and I'm desperate to give people a chance to ask you questions directly. Does anybody have a question directly for Jeff? There you go. Somebody get him a microphone. Oh my gosh, you're a long way back. Can you bellow? Yes. Go on. Well, that's do a good it. voice. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. I can't It's never been screened. Uh, no, of course it's been screened. Of course it's been screened. But nobody <laughs> but saw nobody it. I know. Saw it. Saw it. No, what, was course, it what was it called? If you, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> so what's your, what's your question, Peter, apart from a lot of personal there grief? Is a, that, there is a question that arises Yeah. This. If you don't have a big audience, you know, structurally, you have to have a highly defined and desirable audience for advertisers, for bars, for everything else. Now, what that told me was that nobody I know ever, ever watches Channel 5. And I only did it because Kevin was there, my hero worship. But to to be fair, Peter, he has sort of said he's only for, si for 60 to 24 year olds. That, 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 that's, I'm, well, that's, I'm not suggesting that you don't know some. No, I think the question, the question is, is it started off with, it was a terrible program and mm. I was awful. Well. That may be the reason nobody watched it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> not, not being rude. No, I th <laughs> you have to have desirable audiences right. to make a channel work. Uh, well, we do. I mean, and again, it, I, I, you know... I well, who are they? Well, I don't want to bang on about the, 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 the you know, Big Brother, but in terms of, you know, the whole profile of the, the station has, has dramatically changed overnight. So in terms of more 1634s, there's more ABC ones, there's just more people. But there's certainly more 1634s, I think, you know, than I've had hot dinners at the moment on, on, channel, on channel 5. And it is, it is unbelievable. You know, we're getting 25% shares of 1634s when Big Brother's on. Because it isn't more people, is it, watching channel 5? I mean, no, ratings more, have no. gone down, generally. No, 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 there are more people. You know, our share, our share last week was 5.1%. That was because um, of Big Brother, presumably. It's because of Big Brother. Okay. This week, it's probably going to be 5.3. Normally, we're about 4.5. So that shows so you... So since Big Brother, the, you, the, you're it, talking it, about... The, the, yeah. the magnitude of that, that particular change, and it, mm. it, it is, is just 
is just ginormous. And what the challenge is, is to continue that through the, those, those other 28 weeks, plus also make sure people do come and sample the stuff at eight o'clock and, you know, and they find mm. it interesting. And I think you know, we're beginning to do that. Mm. And also things like you know, Cowboy Builders, we've moved in the schedule. And that's now, it's, 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 biggest, it's its biggest mm. rating it's ever had. Any other questions? Yeah, sorry. Uh, Tara Conlan, The Guardian. Um, can I just ask about uh, a couple of areas? Um, milkshake, is that gonna continue in the same form? Um, are you going to do more extreme fishing with Robson? And what's happening with your talks with Sky about your news provision, please? Um, milkshake is uh, constant. Milkshake will be there, I think, forever. It's, it's probably one of, it is one of our biggest, well, our most respected brands. So I think that's, that's an easy one. Uh, what was the second part? Because my memory is very... Robson, Robson yes, Robson's back. Uh, he's, he's actually, we, we, we've, we're giving him a challenge this time and he has, to, he has to fish against champions of that area, of the area that he's fishing in. And um, he actually has taken a couple down, so we were actually very pleased with him. And so and he's actually, because he's bloody pleased with himself, of course. Um, so he's gonna be, he might well be the world's champion angler. So uh, that would be, which would be fantastic. And in terms of Sky, um, um, we have news with Sky and we're very happy with that and I think we've made it quite clear. They're our news provider. And we'll continue to and be so. And continue to be so, yes. Uh, it's whatever Richard wants it to be. Um, no, it, 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 basically it is. I mean, we, we've got more money now than we had last year. We've got more money than we had the year before. Um, and... Again, you know, anything he wants, if anything, sorry, anything he thinks I want and he agrees, he will put money in. So to be perfectly honest... So you honest, don't have an amount of money that you can spend on... Oh, no, I, we do. I have, a, I have an idea. What is that? I have a rough That's idea what know, of what it? it is. What's the basic rather than the exception? I, I, I don't... Do you know what? I don't like talking about, um, about our budget because... Is that because it's so small? No. There's a lot of things uh, I don't like talking about that are small, but we're not... Um, <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> well, we're not going to be talking about that either. Mm. Um, uh, no, no, it's, it, look, at the end of the day, it's, you know, again, it's part of that whole thing. Oh, they haven't got enough money, have they? Oh, well, let's not bother with that idea then. You know, forget it. If you've got an idea that's mm -hmm. been good and you want us to try and make the programme with you, just come and see us because even if the programme is huge and it's going to cost us a bloody fortune, if we like it, we will go and do it. So I think it's, again, it's, it's that whole, back to the whole thing, oh, they've only got that amount of money, they only spend 60,000 pounds an hour on that. It's just totally, totally reinforces what everybody thinks. So I think we have to get out of that mindset. I think we have to be far more positive about what the channel is mm -hmm. and, and say, okay, well, look, you know, put your money where your mouth is and do it. Big Brother mm -hmm. is one of the first ones of that. So yeah. we've put our money where our mouth is okay. and it is working. Okay, I think we've got time for one last question from the floor. God, I don't know who Hi, hi Tom, uh, yes. Tom Latcham. Um, of all the shows that we've just seen that are coming up in the new year and some brand new, which are the ones that viewers, uh, that you're most excited about and that you think that viewers will be most excited about? Well, I think, I think there's a few. I think The Brigade, to me, is, is really, really quite interesting. It's made by Chris Tyrrell, who, who did our um, Royal Navy Caribbean uh, patrol, which was a bit of a surprise hit right at the beginning of the year. It did over two million viewers, um, you know. And again, it's about, I really am trying to bang on about it's positive, it's passion. He is po positive and passionate about what he does. Those guys on the front line are positive and passionate about what they do. And it comes across, and we are positive and passionate about supporting them now, which we never did in the past. So I think that one is probably is, is a bit of a standout for me, uh, to be perfectly honest, because it is, it's a, it's, it is hugely passionate all the way through the process. Uh, the showman sh programme is, is, is going to be great fun, um, but, but very, 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 very different. Are you going to have in-house developers? I keep hearing these rumours. We, we, we do have uh, two people who are doing development for us. Yes, we do. And are you going to have more or have an actual like... No, this is, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is baby steps. This is a little area that we're, we're looking at to see if we can uh, move it forward. We have, we, have, we have a couple of shows that, you know, that we, we've made ourselves. You know, Celebrity Wish List, which goes out in a few weeks' time. Um, and, you know, Bay Reporter, which is a special on Home and Away. So we, we're, not, we're not quite shine yet, mm. but we'll get okay. there. OK, well, I haven't been told desperately to wrap up. But I'm going to take you because you look panic-stricken at that news. Go on, quickly, just one last question. 
Yeah, go for it. What, do you want to have one last question? There you go. And then we must go. Hi. Um, would you accept that in the chattering classes like me, you've got an image problem with your proprietor who's seen as a, a, a semi-pornographer and, and who runs two rather <coughs> dodgy newspapers? Uh, I slightly regret taking your question. <laughs> however, however... <laughs> we haven't got... Well, I'm glad we run out of time. And, um, <laughs> Thank you for coming. Um, uh, no, no, I tell you what, the one thing about Richard, uh, and I, I've only known him in this past year, is I've never known such a man who is so passionate about uh, the channel and just wants the channel to succeed. He is interested, which, uh, and again, I mean, these words seem, well, they should be, but you know what? And I don't want to, not, yeah. RTL, it was, a diff it was a different set of circumstances. And they were, you know, they, it was a, they were a German company. He is... He is absolutely 100%, actually probably more than that, committed to making Channel 5 a success. And therefore, I take my hat off to him. And if we upset or aren't liked by a few people, do you know what? Hey, Richard may not be liked by the chattering classes. Channel 5 haven't really been liked by the chattering classes either. So, and his approach is fun, fun, fun. Our approach is fun, fun, fun. So I think actually, this marriage might actually work for both of us. Well, that's as good a place as any to end. Jeff Ford. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs>